Okay, art friends, we just finished reading the book Ish by Peter H. Reynolds, and on the back is a picture of those vase of flowers that Raymond loved to draw, and I thought we could draw some flowers today. So, well, I am going to try a pencil to start with. And so, drawing this vase of flowers, you could draw what you want your vase to look like. Usually the vase has an opening at the top, and this is where the flowers are going to come out. And then we're going to draw our lines down, and it could look like any kind of vase you want yours to look like. Mine's kind of not matching there, and that's fine. And then at the bottom, a cylinder shape is actually rounded and comes as it comes towards you. You can see that round. It's not straight and flat because it's rounded and curved. That's a 3D shape and that's called form. So we're going to draw a big smile here at the bottom of our vase to make it look like it's rounded and coming up towards us. And our vase right now is just floating in space. So we want to make sure that we put a line for the ground. And this could be a table. Um, this line is called a horizon line. Now I can draw my flowers and you can draw them however you want them to look. So if you want the stem to be straight, if you want the stem to be curved, any kind of flower you want to do. Raymond had a swirly one and it it doesn't matter if yours doesn't look like mine because we learned from the story that people can make things look like whatever they want. It might just look ish, kind of like it. And it doesn't matter if you think Yours doesn't look right because Raymond never gave up. And so once you're done drawing whatever kind of flowers you want, whatever kind of leaves you want to put on your flower, we're actually going to color this with marker. And I'm going to show you a special trick of how to make... Oh, I forgot. If you want your vase to be um, see-through, you can even show the stem through the vase. Maybe not as dark and I'm going to put a lip here. Alright, so I was showing that there is a magic trick of how we can make this look like paint. So I'm going to put some water here, draw some lines. You can make your vase to be a line too. Let's see, I want maybe a green vase. Oh, and I just remembered, I'm going to do a green stem for my flowers, too. Green stem. And you don't have to color it in, because I still have to show you the magic trick. Once you finish with this. And if you don't have markers, and all you have is crayons or color pencils, you can use those, too. They just won't show us this magic trick that I'm about to show you when you add some water to this. So, you just outline your shapes, your flowers. And let's see what happens when we put some water on a paintbrush. Only water. We don't even have paint yet. I'm going to color that in there too. I don't think I just want pink. I think I want yellow here too. So I'm going to put some yellow. All right. We're getting somewhere. All right. So now we are going to put our paintbrush in some water and see what happens if we get it a little bit wet. You don't want to get it too wet because it could put a hole in your paper. And you also don't want to rub too much like it is paint um, because it's actually going to start to make the paper fall apart too. So just a tiny bit of water and see if we can see this markers kind of turn into watercolor. I might want to wet that a little bit more. Ooh, This is fun. Color that in. I'm going to put a little bit of paint right there. Now, notice how I went pretty fast. I didn't stop and rub and rub and rub and rub in the same place over and over again. 
and I also rinse my brush off every time I change colors because some colors do not mix good together. They are not friends. They turn brown when they mix together. Now that that's done, I think I want to make the table have a little blurry line too. I'm going to choose the color pink. If you want to make your table wood, you can make it brown, like my table in the background. You could put designs on your table if you want. I just put a little lines for a shadow there. I'm going to blend that in with a tiny bit of water. It's the faintest light bit of color, but I think that's all I want to do. There is a beautiful vase of flowers, just like Raymond did. I have one more pencil that I want to do. And I hope you had a lot of fun with your art. When you are all done, I want you to sign it, just like Raymond did. We sign our artwork. Done. Thank you for joining us. This was a lot of fun making art with you today.